Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, just going to be trying out some new stuff. So make sure you keep watching if you want to see this look. So first things first, I want to moisturize my face and I'm going in with the Milk Vegan Moisturizer. It's just a trial size. I put it in the cart um, as an offer when I purchase other things from Sephora. It big, okay. It's pretty thick. Oh, I like a thicker moisturizer in the winter. It could actually be a primer. All right, this could actually be used as a primer, just like any moisturizer, but it has a thicker consistency that I think will make a good primer, but I'm still gonna use primer today. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. It's really not much since, you know, I have brows. So, let me just do that real quick. Alright, so my brows are done. And today I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. Um, this isn't new, so, yeah. Didn't have new brow products. But I did switch it up. I didn't use Benefit today. I just kind of use that to fill in my brows since they look okay without it. I just really didn't feel like I want to get it, honestly. And I use the Hourglass Vanish Concealer, which, airbrush concealer, which is new. And this is in the shade Maple, and I carved out my brows and used that as a primer. And I'm going to be using that as a concealer today, too. So, you know, keep watching and see how that works out for me. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and take this Beauty Blender, the level of pore minimizing primer. Again, this is something that I picked up with my points. So it's travel size, but y'all know I'm about that travel life. So I love travel size products. Um, I don't think this, is, this isn't that new. It might be some months old. But I've never used it, so... Hopefully, this feels kind of, hmm, it feels just a tad bit silicone-y, not like Benefit, um, is this Benefit? Beauty Blender. Not like the Benefit Pore Minimizer. It's less silicone-y than that, but, uh-oh, it's leaving a little bit of white cast but I'm sure that'll be okay well I'm not sure I'm hoping that it'll be okay <laughs> let me go ahead and blend this primer in just in case I probably put too much really because that's my life that's just my life hopefully it doesn't give me any flashback because I put too much on the next thing I'm going to go in with is this Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette. Again, it's not necessarily, it's not new at all. And I've actually had this for a bit and have done um, a first impressions on it as well as like an end of the month collective haul review on it. But since then, I haven't used it. So it's like a, it's like a re-review. I'm going in with the shade Suede, which is this brown shade here on the end. I'm going to take the shade Moonchild, which is like a navy blue or a black with blue glitter. Just take a little bit of that and I'm going to deepen up the outer corners. Now I'm going to take this Morphe 124 brush and go into this baby blue shade. It's called Dreamcatcher. And no, I'm going to, yeah, this shade. Which is actually called, yeah, it's called Dreamcatcher, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. Okay, I think I'm gonna add some liner and lashes to this, and that's gonna be it for the eyes, and then we'll come back with the face. Okay, so my lashes are on, and they are a bit more dramatic than what I was going for. This whole look ended up being 
way more dramatic. Um, and by the way, today I did use the Be So Free lashes that I um, purchased from Amazon. This is the same lashes that I had for like six months from Amazon. Um, I need to buy some new pair because these are kind of, you know, starting to show their age. But I don't wear them often, so... I'll link them down below if you want to check them out. I don't. I also don't have a new foundation, so I'm going in with my Born This Way. It's 30 in the color Chai. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Hourglass Concealer again, Airbrush Concealer in Maple. And I'm going to conceal with this. Right off the way, I can tell like this is going to be full, full coverage because the consistency, consistency is almost gel-like. But it's like, I don't know. You can tell it's gel-like because it's Thick, but it still has that glide so it's not like tart shape tape at all because it still has that like glide to it and I'm nervous because I'm letting it sit but this is a part of me testing it out just to make sure that even with me sitting it on my face and waiting for a bit it'll still blend out flawlessly um I think I want to blend this out with a brush because I blend one side out with the sponge and one with the brush, but that's going to irk me because I know one side is probably going to be more full coverage because of that. But let's just go ahead and blend her out. Off the bat, I'm, it is giving me the coverage that I love. But I don't think I like the brush with this. I mean, it's okay. I like sponges with more jelly textures of concealers. And then I'm going to use a sponge on the other side, which is not that damp. Even though this is not my favorite sponge, this is giving me more of the look I think I want. Honestly, so far, this is looking quite amazing. Like, I am thoroughly impressed. I know a lot of people didn't care for the Vanish foundation, but I happen to like it. And so far, the concealer is busting for some, too. <laughs> now I'm going to apply bronzer. I don't have a new bronzer, so... Okay, bronzer is on, and I use the Kylie Cosmetic Bronzer in Tawny Mommy. And I also don't have a new setting powder, but I have a new setting powder tool. You guys will probably be quite shocked. I have the new Tati Beauty Blendiful. Blendiful. I think it's called Blendiful. And I'm going to use my good old faithful Huda. I'm not using it as a brush today because that's just not my lifestyle. I would never... Um, even though it's cool to try, I would never use this for foundation and stuff. Um, realistically, because that's just too much. And I don't like the texture of this on my face like that. So, let's use this just as a powder puff. I need to fold it or something. It's too big. I should have used a little one. You guys don't know, this is $18 on her website. Tati Beauty. Um, you can get these cheaper, just like anything that's like more than normal um i think the hourglass found concealer retails for 38 dollars and i don't know how much the fenty mascara is but i believe it's probably around 25 dollars um since i forgot to mention prices here so far i'm liking this though it's easier to blend out than like using a sponge and then trying to but it's not like that much easier, but yeah, so far I really like this. This is something I would definitely incorporate into my routine just for powder. You see how it looks though? It gets a little dirty there. I'm not sure how you clean it, but I'm just going to throw mine in the washing machine from time to time because 
because let's be honest. The next, and I think, no, it's not the last thing. The next thing I picked up was the Sephora Empower um, Trio Face Palette. This came recommended from Andrea Renee, and it was actually pretty affordable for Sephora. I think this is like $15, and you get mm, a creamy matte powder blush and two highlighting shades. Also, BH Cosmetics just released some blush palettes that I think are bomb looking. You may have to order those too. I love travel friendly stuff. Here is the palette. I'm going to open it so you can see better. So again, here you are. This is a like a rose blush. This is like a, um, uh, I guess a rose gold highlighter. And then this is more of your true gold highlighter. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this blush. And yeah, that perfect. I might have even added too much. So we're just going to wipe some of that away. Oh, but that cream matte, I can definitely feel that it's so soft. Next, I'm going in with the highlighter shade at the end. I'm not so crazy about this formula, but since it will be, you know, it looks good, but I think this is one of those ones you need to like spray and then apply the powder. Not all of them, not all highlighters you have to do that with, but some that are a little bit more on like drier side could really benefit from a setting spray or a mist before taking it and if I knew what I know now I probably would have done that. I'm going in with the color suede again on this MAC 217 brush and I'm just gonna blend it in. Now I'm gonna go in and use the Fenty mascara to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to pull out is the Fenty Beauty Setting Spray. Well, it's not a setting spray. It's a makeup refresher, and it says makeup refresher, I think, for a reason. Here is the spray. The on this is bomb, as I said in my other video. It's amazing. Don't expect it to make your makeup last long. Um, I haven't done a full wear test of it to see if that might be the case. Um, not that I would be able to tell anyway if it's the setting spray or just the products that I use since they're all new. The next thing that I am trying out here, again, is something that I reviewed, well, did a first impressions of for my Fenty video, is the Fenty Gloss Balm. And I'm just going to put this on. Yeah, I really, 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 really like the clear gloss look. I think it was like about time that it came back because really, I don't want to be putting on, I mean, I will, I don't want to be putting on lip liner, lip stick, and a gloss. I just want to go out like this, like just natural lips <laughs> with a ton of makeup on. Yeah, so I think that is it, I think in total I tried out one, two, three, four, five items in this video. Six items. That was the blend, the beauty blender primer, pore minimizing primer, gloss balm, the Fenty mascara, the new Fenty makeup refresher. I also tried the Sephora Trio palette, which they do have other shades in if you're not a deeper toned skin and you're looking for something a little bit lighter. I also tried out the, here it is, the Hourglass Airbrush Concealer and I think that's it. And I was really playing with the Juno sponge because I didn't have such a great time with it the first time I tried this out. So yeah, that was pretty much all the new makeup that I tried today and literally I am not even the slightest disappointed 
with anything that I picked up. Off of my first impressions here today, I could recommend any of these items to anybody who is interested in trying them already and willing to, you know, throw that coin, especially because this blush palette is only $15. Like, this is probably the cutest thing in Sephora. But yeah, anywho, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and do all of that jazz ends. Yeah, I will be back sooner than you know. <laughs>